Seattle City Light today announced it will inspect thousands of metal utility poles after a family's pet got electrocuted. Camera 7, uh, Camera 7 reporter Deborah Horn is live in West Seattle now where a neighbor found another defective light pole. Debbie. Steve, this is that pole here on Southwest Raymond Street. It had a short tube and it too was detected by a family pet. Yeah, when I walk down, you'll see she'll bolt behind me. She won't go near it. From the moment last summer when Seattle City Light energized this light pole near Wendy Hughes Jellin's home in High Point, her greyhound would not walk alongside it. Then she discovered two other dogs also reacted to the pole. I had no idea what was going on. So, but three different dogs all behaving weirdly around the pole, that just deserves a phone call. That phone call Monday resulted in this extraordinary news conference with the man who runs Seattle City Light. We did dispatch a crew that identified the particular street light involved and um, did detect a voltage on the metal street light pole. Jorge Carrasco says a wire was frayed. The pole was emitting 50 volts of electricity. However, he says the pole didn't result in anyone getting hurt. A short in a light pole on Seattle's Queen Anne Hill had tragic consequences on Thanksgiving Day. This dog was electrocuted when he got too close. That pole along busy Queen Anne Avenue was emitting 90 volts of electricity. Now Carrasco says City Light will reinspect its 20,000 metal light poles, including those in three other city developments similar to the ones in High Point. I'm really glad that my dog's not hurt, nobody around here is hurt, and we don't have any more dog deaths, hopefully, if they, if they really do follow through and check all of them. In addition, Seattle City Light says it will take over inspection of the city's light poles, 84,000 poles in all. Reporting live in West Seattle, Deborah Horn, Cairo 7, Eyewitness News. A Cairo 7 ABS.